three questions. Okay. Uh, Imagine that you're trying to develop a new product for market. To be specific, you're debating about two different designs for an internet-aware coffee cup that will connect to the Internet of Things and automatically tell your favorite coffee shop to start brewing when you get low. Uh, you can only choose one design. You can either use a custom design, integrated circuits, or mass market general purpose circuits. Custom circuits will require a higher upfront investment and be riskier, but will result in greater sales if you can successfully design the product. General purpose circuits are cheaper and less risky, but will open you up to competitors, reducing your expected payoff. Your engineering team estimates that there's a 60% chance they can design a custom circuit Internet of Things coffee mug, and a 90% chance that they can design a general purpose circuit Internet of Things coffee mug. Regardless of success or failure, you have to spend $300,000 in development costs to try to design the co custom coffee mug or $100,000 to design the general coffee mug. Your marketing department estimates that the net benefits of the custom Internet of Things coffee mug would be $900,000. On the other hand, the value of the general purpose mug is $350,000. Draw a decision tree to answer the following questions. Which product should you develop? And what is the minimum probability of success that the general purpose circuit mug would need to have to warrant developing it. Okay. So basically, you're just choosing between two different designs here. So the first thing we have is we have a decision. And the decision is we can do the custom or the general purpose. Okay. If we do the custom, then what happens? Then your design team, your engineering team tries to estimate it uh, sorry, tries to estimate. Your engineering team tries to design it, and they may or may not be successful. If they're successful or not, there's a 60% chance of success and a 40% chance of failure because this is custom. No one's ever built this thing before. Um, so, if you're successful, you spend $300,000 in development cost on the custom coffee mug, but you make $900,000. So your ultimate payoff is going to be $600,000. If you're not successful, then you spend $300,000 $300, in design costs and you get no sales. So you're at minus $300,000. Okay. On the other hand, if you go the general purpose route, you can have success or failure, uh, failure, and there's a 90% chance of success, a 10% chance of failure. The development costs in this case are 100,000, but you make 350,000, so you're up, sorry, I won't put that there, 250,000, and if you fail, you're down 100,000. Okay, so that's the decision tree for this particular problem. So now we need to calculate the expected value of this, which is 600,000 times 0.6 plus negative 300,000 times 0.4, which equals 360 minus 12 is, is 2. Two four zero 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 zero, right? Two hundred forty thousand. The expected value of going for the custom coffee mug. The general purpose mug is two hundred fifty thousand plus point nine plus negative one hundred thousand times point one. Which should equal, uh, if I can do this one in my head. $215,000. So, $240,000, $215,000, which would you rather have? You would prefer to go for the $240,000. So question number two, what's the minimum probability of success of the general purpose 
mug would have to be to warrant developing it. So what we're asking, the minimum that this number would have to be. So there's a couple of ways to do that. One, we can call this number P and do a bunch of algebra, or we can say, look, nine is too small, so we need a number that's bigger than nine. What if we go up to 100%, because that's the maximum percent we can go up to. If we go to 100%, then that's 250, which is gonna be bigger than this. So there is a number, so we do have to solve it. So let's call this P, and that makes that one minus P. And then we can say 250 times P plus negative 100,000 times one minus P. That needs to be greater than 240,000. So let's see, 250 P uh, minus 100, I'm leaving off the thousands here, uh, plus, because a minus times a plus there, 100 P is greater than 240. So 350 P minus 100 greater than 240. So 350 P is greater than Two, oh, sorry, 340. So, P has got to be greater than 340 divided by 350, which is 340 divided by 350 equals 97.14. So, if P is greater than 97.14%, the probability of success of the general purpose mug, you would want to develop that. But if it's any number less than 97%, you would want to develop the custom mug.